Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my everyday hair routine because in my vlogs a lot of you guys have been asking what is my hair routine for every day? How do I get the type of curls that I have or waves? So today I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, unfortunately, if you haven't noticed, my hair is significantly longer and that is because I did get extensions put in at Nalu76 in Omote Sando. So do check out that video if you wanna see my hair transformation. Um, so the waves are probably gonna turn out a little bit different, but the technique is the totally the same as what I normally do. So if you have short hair about to here, it will probably turn out the same as mine was in all of my vlogs. Um, if your hair is longer, then the waves are gonna be slightly different looking, but still similar style with the kind of Hollywood wave that's not like ringlets or beach waves. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I get that type of hair. I think I've done a tutorial on this maybe over a year ago. I'm not too sure, but it's been my go-to way of doing waves for a very long time now. Um, I always curl my hair like this, so it's not too different for me. And if you've watched my videos before in the past, then you may have already seen a similar tutorial, but that's not about it. It's about what I do recently. Um, if you guys are not subscribed to my vlog channel, then um, check it out down below because I upload there super regularly about three times to every day. So if you want to see what I'm getting up to while I've been living in Japan, then do check that out because it is where I am most active now since I'm really, really busy. Let's get started. Um, this is the hair curler that I use. It's from Irresistible Me. It's the Sapphire Wand and it originally came with I think eight different attachments, but this size is my absolute favorite. And as you can see, I'm touching the tip of this wand because it is a rubber based tip, so it doesn't get hot, so it's okay to touch this part. And I'm pretty sure this is a one inch barrel that is attached to it now. This is my go-to size that I always use. So if you have anything similar to this size at home, then you want something like this. And if you don't, then um, go out and buy one because this is the size that I use to get the types of waves that I do. And for the heat, I usually set it up to about 410 Fahrenheit or sometimes 370, 390. Since I do have extensions and now I have it set to a higher level just because I know I'm gonna need more heat to get the waves to last longer and to hold and to just form in general. So I usually start off with dry combed hair. That's generally the rule for all hair styling. I tend to usually have hair oil in it, but I'm not really a product junkie when it comes to hair. So I just do it from whatever. Showered hair doesn't really matter. If you wanna put in a heat protectant spray, by all means go for it. I generally don't, but I start off with mm, maybe about this much hair. Sometimes I pick up a little bit more, but once again, since I have hair extensions now, I don't want to grab too much. So just going like this, so that amount is fine for today. And then taking my wand, I start from about halfway up my head, maybe about like below my cheekbone, and then I hold the wand on a horizontal and then wrap the hair around it. I hold it there for a decent amount of time also, maybe like 20 seconds, 15 seconds. Just like that. And I continue this technique all around my head. So once again, grabbing a decent chunk and then on the horizontal and wrapping. For this style, I don't like to pull the curls up past halfway of my head because I feel like it doesn't look as natural if you do that and it is just too much volume around the um, face otherwise. So I think halfway is a nice length to start your curls at. It's my personal preference. 
but you can choose to start it up really high or start it up low. It doesn't really matter. Try experimenting with it and see what you like better on your face. Of course, everyone's face shape is different, so different um, places to start the curls will look better on some people, while on others it won't look so good. Um, it definitely takes some experimenting for yourself to see what you prefer. So give it a shot. When I get to the back of my head, I generally don't start like holding it behind. I just kind of pull the hair towards the front of my face and curl it like that. I don't really focus on getting the waves up too perfect around the back of my head. Uh, once again, the looks that I do generally float more towards like the natural side, so I don't really try too hard to make it look extremely styled. And sometimes when I do this style, I notice some hairs still remain a bit straight. Like for example, this front part here is kind of lacking in the center curl. So this is where I'll just go in and kind of redo it, but grabbing a smaller section. Not the original size of that section that I did previously. So then after, once I've done my entire head, I'll just go in and comb it through. This kind of just softens the curls and makes them look even more natural. Just like that. So that gives me kind of that Hollywood wave that I tend to go for every day. It's not really a beachy wave, it's not really a curl, it's just kind of that Hollywood glam look as if you had curlers in your hair overnight, you know, like those ones that you put in your wet hair. Um, you could probably get this look with the same method if you use um, rollers in your hair and leave them in overnight. Same method where you do the horizontally, so you just roll it up. You could probably get the same look overnight with wet hair, um, but for me I can't really do those overnight wet hair looks because I don't have a hair type that looks good without heat styling. It tends to be like really fluffy looking and frizzy. So this is how I get it. Um, my hair tends to hold curls really well just because it's so damaged and dry and I have very thin strands as well. So I don't generally need to use hairspray or holding products because they don't really make a difference for me. If anything, they just make my hair look greasy and chunky. Um, so just having it like this is enough and then combing it throughout the day helps to keep it from looking um, clumped together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side of my hair and I will show you guys the finished look. Okay, so that is it. That's how I get my Hollywood glam, I guess, style of waves. I'm not too sure if you guys can see the ends. Am I too far? Yeah. So yeah, that is how they look. Of course, the waves are a little bit different now since I have extensions, but as you can see, the um, style is still the same. So if you had short hair like I originally did, which was about here, then you'll be able to have the look that I had in all of my previous vlogs quite easily if you have the similar style of barrel wand curler that I have. You can even do this look without actually having a curling wand. If you have a regular clamp curling iron, you just wrap it your hair around that clamp as well, um, and it will give you the same kind of result as a wand. Just don't clamp your hair this time, basically. <laughs> Anyways, that is it, you guys. That is my go-to hairstyle that I generally do every day when I go out. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you wanna see more hair tutorials because now that I have hair extensions, I have a lot more hair, obviously, so I can actually probably do some legit hairstyles because before with my natural hair, it was so thin and it just grows so slowly that I honestly can't do updos or anything like that because I just don't have enough hair to do hairstyles other than curls or straight or waves. Um, so let me know if you want me to attempt doing hairstyles because I would love to give it a shot, I think. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see videos like that. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and be sure to check out my vlog channel if you want to see my daily life because like I said before, I am uploading there extremely regularly, three times a week to sometimes daily. Um, so do check that out if you're interested and I will see you guys next time.
bye Welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm going to be doing an updated everyday makeup look because on my vlog channel a lot of you guys have been asking what my recent makeup routine is because I've kind of been doing the same look recently every day in my vlog videos and you guys seem to really really like it so today I'm going to show you what exactly I have been doing every day that I go out so let's get started if you cannot already tell so it has officially been one year and I am proud to say that I am extremely extremely happy with my results um, so I think I'm just gonna hop right into it if you haven't already seen my surgery journey my experience video my half year update and my Q&A then all those videos will be linked in the description box down below so you can check out and follow my entire story up until this date I actually recommend you go 